don't read and write poetry because it's cute. We read and write poetry because we are members of the human race. And the human race is filled with passion. And medicine, law, business, engineering, these are noble pursuits and necessary to sustain life. But poetry, beauty, romance, love, these are what we stay alive for. To quote from Whitman, Oh me, oh life of the questions of these recurring, of the endless trains of the faithless, of cities filled with the foolish, what good amid these, oh me, oh life? Answer, that you are here, that life exists and identity, that the powerful play goes on and you may contribute a verse. powerful play goes on and you may contribute a verse. What will your verse be? The OHS Language Arts Department believes that every student has a unique and powerful verse to contribute. By providing a wealth of knowledge, a multitude of tools, and a range of experiences, we, the OHS English Department, guide learners in the craft of communication and critical thinking. See a glimpse of the curriculum and educational projects experienced as students progress through O'Neill Public Schools language arts courses. English 7 is a team taught class that includes each and every 7th grade student, reinforcing our belief that everyone is a writer. Whether we compose with traditional or modern means, Google Docs, Pages, multimedia presentations, whether we publish locally or globally, on blogs, news media, iBookstore, grammar and conventions are the foundation for sharing our message far and wide. And most importantly, instilling a love and respect for our language in our students to build upon for a lifetime. Hello from 7th grade greeting. We're so excited to have the opportunity to tell you about some of the awesome things we do during our 7th grade reading classes. One of our main focuses is learning about literature elements like plot, conflict, and study. Foreshadowing, suspense, theme, and figurative language. Similes and onomatopoeia. Metaphors and more. We also spend time developing different reading strategies such as Predicting and making inferences. Identifying, sequence, and chronological order. On top of that, we expand our vocabulary knowledge each week by learning new words such as drudgery and vogue, doleful, arbitrary, malady, insurgent, guys, and gusto. And read some really cool novels and short stories like Legend, Bruiser, Monster Calls, Heartbeat, Lightning Thief, and Crossing the Water. My favorite favorite was um, reading the Bruiser book and making the poster. I like 7th grade reading because I liked reading all the different kinds of books that we got to choose from. <laughs> Thanks for joining us! Eighth grade reading and writing classes are split into two periods. This is helpful for students in order to cover the many skills and learning objectives in language arts in order to better prepare them for high school. In reading class, students learn about literary elements and different reading strategies as they read short stories and novels. Vocabulary lessons are also part of the reading curriculum in 8th grade. Students are assessed over their nonfiction reading skills through our Teen Biz program. My favorite part about 8th grade reading was our acting out of the short stories. My group acted out The Telltale Heart by Edgar Allan Poe. Eighth grade English is team taught, so all students are included in the regular classroom. Students use sentence writing strategy and daily grammar practice to learn sentence structure and grammar. You know, as I have taken the time to contemplate on this very important subject, I have come to the conclusion that my favorite thing about eighth grade English was daily grammar practice. Students will tell you, we write a lot in 8th grade English class, and it's true. One of the main goals of this class is to teach students that writing is a process. Many students in 8th grade English enjoy our online writing exchange with UNL pre-service teachers and students from Omaha Burke. 
In small groups, we exchange writing that includes an author's note and give one another feedback in order to improve writing during this revision process. Being able to analyze their own and others' writing helps students when it is time to take the state writing assessment second semester. Last year, our school had seven students with perfect scores and several who exceeded the writing standards on the eighth grade assessment. Other highlights from last year were when Wyatt Lieber won runner-up in the state contest called Letters About Literature and when Sam Eichelberger went to districts for her patriotic essay written for the VFW contest. My favorite thing about eighth grade English was doing the writing exchange because we got to go to Lincoln and we got to see cool people and we got to meet college people and we got to get the college people's perspectives on our papers. During second semester, students enjoy creating an iBook over content area material they learn in social studies or science, and they give a persuasive speech to the class. My name is Jake Young, and my favorite part about 8th grade English was the challenge-based learning, the CBL projects. Uh, my group had illegal hunting, and we researched about that. Overall, students seem to enjoy their reading and English classes at OHS. Fusion reading is a new approach to teaching kids who struggle with reading. Students learn skills for reading, such as how to figure out unknown words, how to think about what they're reading, and how to understand and talk about what they're reading. At the same time, they read books and other materials chosen because the topics have proven popular and interesting for other adolescents in similar circumstances. Students learn that reading is fun as they practice the skills they need to conquer reading assignments in their other classes. Reading is the very heart of fusion reading. Instruction concentrates on building the skills necessary to recognize unfamiliar words and understand language. Welcome to Freshman English. Thank you for allowing us to share our journey throughout the year and giving us the opportunity to introduce you to some of our interesting things we do. We cover a variety of different topics in our first year of high school English. We focus on English elements such as research papers, poetry elements, the sentence writing strategy, daily grammar practice, creative writing, argumentative essays and poetry analysis essays we also focus on literature skills such as deciphering the play of Romeo and Juliet I am for you draw your sword <laughs> analyzing forms of writing and figurative language in the novel Chasing Brooklyn Recognizing the symbols in the novel To Kill a Mockingbird. Covering elements of the short story by reading a variety of fictional texts. As well as focusing on independent reading throughout the year. We work on honing our vocabulary words such as... Affliction. <laughs> Anthropomorphic. Bibliophile. Chicanery. <laughs> Demise. Genesis. Nemesis. What I liked most about freshman English had to be the poetry unit. We looked at different types of figurative language and how to incorporate that into our poetry, along with reading a book in verse, Chasing Brooklyn, and just analyzing different kinds of poetry, along with writing our own poetry. In English 2, sophomores develop their writing, reading, and research skills. Over the course of the year, we will review and apply the six traits of writing in narrative, informative, and research essays. We will read memoirs, short stories, poetry, plays, and novels, always asking, what is the author's purpose? And we are adding to our language usage skills with daily grammar practice and weekly vocabulary lessons. Uh, when I was in my sophomore English class, I enjoyed reading Julius Caesar and acting out the play. 
My favorite project from our sophomore year was our illuminated text with the book that we read night. We made our own poem and then through keynote we presented this project where the words appeared and disappeared. It was fun incorporating technology. Back on sophomore year, my favorite project was when we had to make a representation of an, a symbol in the book Lord of the Flies. Speech focuses on more than just getting up in front and giving a speech. We talk about the proper writing of a speech, which includes an introduction, the body of a speech, which has good transitions and a good conclusion. We talk about proper preparation for a speech, which means practicing maybe in front of a mirror or for uh, a peer that can uh, give good feedback. And then we focus on the actual delivery of the speech, which includes uh, good posture, good eye contact, and the elimination of verbal fillers, to name a few. When we're not working on speeches, we work on good communication skills. The verbal skills is the obvious part of it. Listening skills uh, is giving good feedback and uh, paying attention to the message that the speaker is giving. We also talk about nonverbal cues, which is the setting, um, posture, and facial expressions, not only being good at, at delivering those things, but also being good at reading those things. The types of speeches we give throughout the semester include a bag speech, in which, in which you pick three items that represent you, and you tell the, the class about yourself. Uh, the partner interview, you interview somebody within the class, and then you present that to the class. A defining moment speech, you pick a moment from your life that has had a lasting impression on you and you tell us why. A demonstration speech, you pick a skill that, that you're good at, you demonstrate it for the, for the class. A persuasive speech, you uh, have to have uh, three things that back up what you're persuading us to do. It might be to exercise or to eat right and you have to uh, do some research on that so you have facts to back up your opinion. And the informative speech is much like the persuasive speech. Uh, you provide information um, and then uh, you pr present that to the class. Seniors have several choices. Two of those include British Literature and Composition or Senior Literature and Composition. During the first semester, students in British Literature read Beowulf, The Canterbury Tales, Macbeth, Hamlet, A Modest Proposal, and literature by Jane Austen and Charles Dickens, as well as British poetry. Along with reading, students are also writing about literature and creating projects, like one of my favorites, the author documentary. Hi, I'm T.S. Eliot, and today, I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself. Second semester, students write academic essays, a research paper, and one of my all-time favorite projects, a senior memory book. In senior literature and composition, students focus on technical and workplace writing, a selection of nonfiction and world literature, and media literacy. We examine the reading, writing, listening, and speaking skills needed for success in the workplace. We write instructions, resumes, business letters, speeches, and a career research paper.
Advanced Composition is a dual credit class offered to O'Neill High School seniors in the spring semester. Students who complete this class earn college credit before leaving high school. Although the class is taught online, students like that the teacher is in the building teaching it in case they have questions or need extra support. Advanced Composition offers instructional practice in the techniques of effective writing. The process of planning, writing, revising, and editing essays for particular audiences and purposes along with research-related skills are emphasized. It helped prepare me for college just for uh, the sake of having a lot of the writing skills of um, reading and interpreting all different kinds of materials and things like that. So it uh, really shaped me into a better writer. I honestly have no idea how I would have ever taken any classes at all without having my teacher right there all the time. It was awesome having um, Mrs. Traster there just to ask questions, share my ideas about while I'm writing, or just see what she thinks of my writing so far. And it was very, very helpful in the learning process throughout English Comp. Taking advanced composition in high school really helped me out in college when we had to start writing papers because it gave me a better understanding of what professors were looking for. Anyone that is interested in taking English, English Comp in high school, I would highly recommend it. Bienvenidos! 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 Bienvenidos a la clase de español! Here at OHS we offer four levels of Spanish. Spanish 1 is offered to any student in grades 9 through 11. Spanish 2 typically is taken by 10 through 12th graders, and Spanish 3 and 4 by 11th through 12th grade students. We also offer Spanish 1 and 2 to students in Ewing and Madison via distance learning technology. Hola! <laughs> students who have aspirations to attend a Nebraska State University, such as UNL, UNO, or UNK, should complete two consecutive years of high school foreign language. In Spanish classes, we are taught with the four basic language learning skills in mind. Reading. Speaking. Listening. <laughs> Writing. We also examine the many similarities and differences there are in the languages and explore the Hispanic cultures. We communicate in Spanish both in written and spoken forms. We show clarity of expression, competence in sentence structure, grammar, mechanics, and vocabulary. We, dem we demonstrate knowledge of and understanding of other Spanish-speaking cultures and apply that knowledge to other disciplines. Some fun and interesting projects that we do throughout the school year include mm -hmm. making iMovies with our MacBooks about our school building, teachers, classes, and after-school activities. Chapter keynote presentations, where students create presentations over what a chapter covers in vocabulary and grammar. These are done with our MacBooks also. Major Cities of Spain, a research-based project where students find out information about the eight major cities of Spain. Yo soy el profesor, I am the teacher, an iMovie project that has students reteach a grammar topic to the class in their own special way. Kitty Books, students author and illustrate their own elementary level storybook. All About Me Personal Newsletter is a project using the Apple application Pages that gives each student a template to construct their own newsletter. Gracias por ver esta información sobre nuestra clase favorita.